about being back in Cincinnati with the Vikings and uh, going up against your former team in scrimmage? Yeah, it's, um, you know, it brings back a lot of, a lot of good memories. Uh, you know, we had, we had a good run when I was here and, uh, you know, a lot of great people in the administration. Uh, Mike Brown was always really good to me. Obviously, a lot of the players that I had coached. So it'll be fun. It'll be fun to my team in here. How did your time here shape you as a head coach? Uh, you know, I think a lot of different ways. Uh, you know, I got a chance to see how, how Marvin does things, how he treats people, the, uh, the way he earns respect. I think, you know, a lot of that stuff, being able to, uh, you know, I don't know if, you know, you know, when I left Atlanta, that I was there for three quarters of a year or whatever. I think coming here and being able to resurrect my career a little bit, you know, I think that being able to, Mike, you left a bunch of players behind. I guess what was just the thought process about leaving them behind as opposed to making them back? Yeah, this guy just said, like, Yeah, I they can't do anything, so I think that would change up there. And uh, I was in a bad mood when they asked me. <laughs> what about, uh, you brought Rhett, though. Why did you bring Rhett to the Because he's getting more, mostly field work. Yep, so How many uh, joint workout? What, what are you trying to, to accomplish? Uh, this? Well, it, you know, obviously they're a good football team, and I have a great relationship with Marvin and the Browns, and uh, so I knew that the respect factor with the football teams would be here, um, and I anticipate that we get a lot of good work. Uh, we get actually, you know, usually the, the day before the preseason game, we get any work done, so we're going to get some extra work done. So I thought that was good. And, you know, I just think it was, if it was some, some other team, I'd probably would have Mike, was it uh, on the 90 man, was it 10 guys you left behind? Okay, this one. My eyes are very good. I was trying to count the ones. Yeah, well, we had one guy, that, we had two guys that had family emergencies that happened yesterday. They'd probably be here. Okay, but which ones are those? Okay, so two of them will be here, okay. So when you sat down with Mike and figured this out, you know, go through it, did, did you find you guys said pretty much the same, you know, pretty much the same schedule, the same story? Yeah, well, re really, you know, Mark and I have been together for so long. I, just, I said, what do you want to do? And he said, how about we do this? And I said, fine. And he sent me the, the, the script, and, uh, you know, we changed a couple of things, but you know, I said, hey, we're doing this, would you want to, would you want to do some of this? He said, sure. I mean, it was real easy going. You practice like a you practice like a new year, you know, you really have to do all the same things, you know, a lot of stuff. Really Mike, uh, with Terrence not here, it's a big opportunity for Troy Williams. What does he need to do to kind of take it. advantage of the time he's going to get here since then? Um, just continue to get better. Uh, you know, like I always say, not to kind of let his guy catch it all. You know, be, I, I, I think it'd be good, you know, they've got two good, you know, AJ Green's a terrific receiver. So it'll be, uh, be good for him and you know you start getting you know for 12 days and OTAs you're going against the same guys and I get a chance to go against somebody that you don't know you haven't studied it's going to be good. Based on what you said you're going to ask him to do he's ready to, to, yeah, to really take advantage of this and go face this. Well he's had a good couple weeks I don't know I don't know predetermined so we'll see how long that is I've never been into it but he's getting better. Is there anything specifically he's really getting better at and then what does he still need to do? Yes, yeah, so Okay. <laughs> he, uh, he's gotten better just about everything. Uh, so uh, he needs to continue to not you know, be close, closer to the receiver at the top of the ground. Mike, what sort of feelings do you get just coming back to Cincinnati? What, what kind of emotions do you have just being back here again in this city? Um, you know, the, the fans were always great to be here. I think it's, I think it's I think it's a tremendous city. I'm building a house over there in Kentucky, so uh, you know I think it's. I mean, you know, there's a lot of memories and things like that, but I'm not nostalgic. Doing a little barbecue for uh, the staff. Yeah. What's on the menu? Uh, uh, Montgomery. Oh, the nice. ribs. Ribs. Yeah. Grab one. Yeah. Ask the baby to get you some more. Yeah. 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 We'll be fine. What sort of is that down at your place? 
Kentucky? Yeah. Oh. Uh, okay. Is Murphy invited? Because he's been there. Is he no website. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what sort of unique okay. things did you take away He's from Marvin and just your time here? What, what sort of things carried over specifically? You know, really, uh, you know, his foundation was big. The way he treats players, the way the way he treats people. Um, you know, some of that. You know, Marvin's got a great heart. He's, he's great for the city. Um, so a lot of those things really carried over me. I started a foundation up in Minnesota. Some of the ways that you know, back in the, in the old days, and everything was yeah, you have to do this, you have to do this. But I think there's a fine line with all that, and I think I learned a lot about that. You know, you just doing all over your staff, you spent a lot of long hours coming up with the double A game stuff. What do you remember about when you guys were coming up with all of that? I just sitting together, it's kind of ended up, you know, everywhere now. Yeah, unfortunately, it's everywhere, but um, you know, it. It all, it, you know, Paul does a great job in breaking down pretensions. You know, we started some of the some of the principles we had when I was in Dallas, and then we just kind of carried them over, and we tried to figure out ways how we could get the pressure on the And then, you know, from there, it was just, you know, once we started looking at things and looking at more, then it was just more, okay, well, how can we do this? What can we do differently? You know? how, how important was sort of your relationship and friendship with Paul over the time? Grew a lot, but, you know, as, as you grew here. Uh, yeah, when I first got here, um, you know, he was he was a defensive assistant, and then he moved uh, to linebackers. And, uh, you know, but he, I relied on him heavily in a lot of things. He's, he's a good football coach, and a good person. He's not great fan. You have you, you have uh, uh, gap stuff. Dude. Excuse uh, me. With the with the double gap stuff. Type of players that you get. You were always kind of put a premium. I mean, if they weren't personal, they had to be smart. Was that pretty much, did that grow out, did that grow out of the personal like that, or did it just uh, it, uh, I think smarter guys typically play better. Now, you know, you'll see, you'll see our guys, we have some length on our defensive team, uh, just like, you know, Cincinnati does. And, you know, so we always wanted big guys with length, we wanted smart guys, we wanted great competitors, guys with pressure. It's all about the skies, basically. Is it, is it about the sky? Well, I guess, I don't know. You have to come to my clinic. <laughs> I do for the media. You have uh, several linebackers. Looks like they're going to be out. How much of an opportunity is this for some of your younger linebackers? You know, like brothers. Yeah, they're going to get a chance to play a lot. Um, brothers, Audi Cole, all those guys. Are good so it'll be fun. What are you seeing, kind of how you doing so far? Uh, he's he's physical and instinctive. Uh, we just gotta keep, uh, you know, we just, we just gotta keep getting better with the, with the speed. No. We good? Hey, good to see you. Alright, good to see you. Alright, yeah.